The last flight to the sun, the Boeing 737 crash near Athens occurred on Sunday, August 14, 2005. The Helios Airways Boeing 737-31 as airliner was making a scheduled flight 522 Cypriot pounds on the route Larnac Athens Prague, but stopped communicating 17 minutes after takeoff. Two Greek Air Force F-16 fighters were sent to search for him, who found the plane, but he did not respond to their messages. As a result, having run out of fuel, the Lina crashed into a mountain two kilometers from the village of Grammatico and 40 kilometers north of Athens. All the people on board were killed 115 passengers and six crew members, 121 people. The crash of Flight 522 was the largest plane crash in the history of Greece and Cyprus. The Boeing 737-31S was released in 1997. At the time of the disaster, he was eight years old. On the day of the disaster, he completed 16,085 takeoff and landing cycles and flew over 17,900 hours. Crew and passengers, the aircraft was operated by an experienced crew whose composition was as follows. The commander of the aircraft VAC is 58-year-old Hans Jurgen Merton, a very experienced pilot. I have flown over 16,900 hours, over 5,500 of them on a Boeing 737. The co-pilot is 51-year-old Pampos Charlambas, an experienced pilot. I flew 7,549 hours, 3,991 of them on a Boeing 737. Four flight attendants worked in the cabin of the aircraft. Louise Woudry, 32, is a senior flight attendant. Andreas Prodrom, 25 years old. Harris Charlambus, 25 years old. Meropi Sophocles, 25 years old. Chronology of events, flight diagram of flight 522. At 9.07 flight 522 Cypriot pounds took off from Larnaca Airport in Cyprus. At 9.11, KVS reported to the dispatcher about the malfunction of the air conditioning system. At 9.15, the flight recorder recorded an audible alarm. At 9.16, the last negotiations of the crew with the Earth. At 9.24, flight 522 Cypriot pounds flies on the F340 train 10,350 meters. From 9.37 to 10.07, the Lina entered the area of responsibility of the Athens dispatchers without responding to calls from the ground. At 10.16, the dispatcher notifies the flight director of the inability to establish communication with the crew, who in turn notifies the regulatory authorities and the military. At 10.20, the Lina passes VO Arcadia and performs under autopilot control maneuvers that in the horizontal plane correspond to the approach pattern on runway no. 03 of Athens Airport, but at the same time remains on the F340 echelon. At 10.29, Flight 522 passes over the airport and performs a maneuver corresponding to the aborted approach according to the scheme. Heading for VO Arcadia, after which it occupies the established waiting area. At 10.45, Flight 522 Cypriot Pounds was scheduled to arrive in Athens. At 11.05, two of 16 interceptor fighters of the Greek Air Force stake to the air. At 11.23, the first visual contact of the interceptors with Flight 522. The commander's seat is empty, and the co-pilot is probably unconscious. At approximately 11.49 am, a man was seen in the cockpit of Flight 522 at the commander's place, trying to take control of the aircraft. As it turned out later, at an altitude of about 11,000 meters, flight attendant Andreas Prodromu sat at the helm of Flight 522. He did not lose consciousness because he managed to use an oxygen mask. At 11 hours 49 minutes and 50 seconds, having run out of fuel, engine no, one left stops. The line turns sharply to the left and flies in a northerly direction. From 1150 to 1154, Prodromu does not respond to any of the F-16 pilot's attempts to attract his attention. Flight 522 Cypriot Pounds is flying in a northwesterly direction. 
If 16 fighters follow him and keep their distance, fearing possible maneuvers of Flight 522, when the F-16 pilot approaches Flight 522, he sees the upper body of Prodroma sitting in the commander's chair and holding his hands on the steering wheel. It becomes obvious that he is without an oxygen mask and immobile. At 11 hours 54 minutes and 18 seconds, the voice recorder registers the following message from Andreas Prodrom. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Helios Airways Flight 522 Athens. Unintelligible word. After a few seconds, the phrase Mayday, Mayday, is registered, uttered in a very quiet voice. From 1154 to 1159, Flight 522 is reduced to approximately 2,000 meters. Prodromu lets you know that he noticed the presence of the F-16 and makes a movement with his hand. The F-16 pilot gestures with his hand to follow him to the airport. Andreas responds but does not follow the F-16. At 11 hours 59 minutes and 20 seconds, Flight 522 turns in a southwesterly direction. The plane continues to descend. At 11 hours 59 minutes and 47 seconds, according to the flight data recorder, engine no to right stops at an altitude of 2,159 meters. The line continues its uncontrolled descent. At 12 hours 3 minutes and 32 seconds, Flight 522 Cypriot pounds crashed into a hill with its bottom, jumped up a few meters from the impact, abruptly went down and crashed into a mountainside two kilometers from the village of Grammatico about 40 kilometers northwest of Athens International Airport and completely collapsed. All 115 passengers and six crew members were killed. Investigation the investigation into the causes of the 522 Cypriot pounds flight crash was carried out by the Greek Transportation Safety and Accident Investigation Board AISB. As it turned out during the investigation, the cause of the crash was the negligence of Helios Airways engineers, who, after ground tests of the aircraft cabin for tightness, did not switch the toggle switch regulating cabin pressure to automatic mode. However, accusations of negligence were also made against Greek air traffic controllers who, having found Flight 522 on radar screens, did not try to establish contact with the crew. Thus, the controllers violated the rules of air traffic safety, aviation experts claimed. The plane crash was also blamed on the aircraft manufacturers who, despite similar incidents of cab depressurization in this model, did not eliminate the problems. It also turned out that the 5 BDBY board had problems with sealing before. The airline Helios Airways on its official website recognized, back in 2004, this aircraft had technical problems of this kind. The line was checked, but experts said that it is in perfect order. However, during the investigation, it turned out that the passengers on board the 5 BDBY have repeatedly complained to airline employees that it was cold on the plane, and official charges were eventually brought against the management and employees of the ground services of Helios Airways, who allowed the faulty aircraft to take off. Thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe to the channel, and write a comment. See you in the next story.